Hey guys, not sure why I was asked to compare these two phones, but physically I can show you how they look like. So the cameras, let's take a look at those. So this is the iPhone 8. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So there's a huge difference in size. Let's just put one on top of the other. And you can see that difference in size. On the bottom, you guys can see that's a difference as well. And when you look at the camera itself, we can see a very clear difference between those huge lenses and this small lens to take videos and photos. Obviously, there's more differences when we take a look under the hood. So at the software and hardware of these two phones, there's huge differences. But physically, on the right-hand side, we can see the volume keys. Same thing goes for iPhone 8. We have our SIM card tray, and the SIM card tray is actually on the other side for the iPhone 8. Other than that, we have the exact same buttons on the same side. On the top, there would be nothing. It's just a difference, again, design-wise. And now let's take a look at this side. This side, we have this, which is our power button. In this case, that's the power button. Huge difference in size. And we have this, which is our SIM card tray. So that would be on the other side of our iPhone 12 Pro Max versus the iPhone 8. On the bottom, here it is to connect our phones. So we could use the same cable to hook them up. Sure, why not? It will work. And when we're looking at the screen size, huge difference right here. Of course, I do have a screen protector on this one, so it looks kind of ugly right now. This one doesn't have a screen protector at the moment, but there's a huge difference where you guys can see the screen only goes up to here. And on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it goes all the way to the edges. Again, with the 8, it doesn't go all the way to the edges. It just cuts off here. And we do have a home button, whereas with the Pro Max, there's only face ID and there's no longer a need for a home button. Other than that, those are the quick differences between the two. Obviously, there's a lot more, but physically, those are the difference between these two guys. Now, before I end this video, I just want to show you one more phone. This is an original iPhone 3G. This is one of the first ones that came out and you guys can see the differences between these three. So they used to be tiny compared to the ones today. And then later on with the Pro Max, obviously it's the biggest one out there right now, but there's a clear difference in the trend that Apple has been going to from big, bigger and huge. Now if I still had my iPhone 2G from way back in the day, that would be just about the same as the 3G right here. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.